three perfect genetics challenge i went ahead and placed enron's back in my game i think it is still going to be a problem but i'm going to test it out for this part and kind of see what goes on it seems to be okay at the moment but I can't make any promises, so I, I hope it'll work because I honestly can't live without it and it is going to make this challenge way harder not having portrait panel and stuff in there. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue. Just, oh no, put away your leftovers. Why? Where are you going? What am I doing? Eat the firecracker shrimp. I don't know where you're going, to be completely honest. Our house is absolutely disgusting, uh, just so you guys know. <laughs> It is freaking disgust disgusting. We're going to have Finley learn to talk and let's check up on the kids. You need to take a shower. Why don't you come over here and just use the all-in-one bathroom? Why are you not eating your firecracker shrimp? Like, sit down and eat. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to have him come over here and see if we can get some more investigator career things going on. And then when <clears throat> Mama Bear is done eating... Um, we're gonna see if we can try for a baby because it did not work in the last part. So you guys see how it was kind of, kind of jumping there. I'm hoping it won't be too serious. Maybe when winter is over and the snow stops falling, we won't have this much of an issue. I can only hope because I honestly, I can live without <clears throat> in Ross in my own game. Kind of, kind of, sometimes, not really, but, um... I could, but when it comes to like the challenges and stuff and not having a portrait panel, I don't know. I don't know, man. We're going to figure it out though. Oh, also, if you guys did not know, I have a giveaway going on right now for The Sims 4 Strangerville. So check out my first part of that and leave a comment on there if you guys would be wanting to be entered to win Strangerville. <clears throat> Alrighty, in case, the case of the Bermuda Triangle, love triangle. I got a call from a paranoid man who fears his true love has flown the coop. I imagine this gal had her reasons for ditching this fella, but right now I must assume she's a missing person. I need to... Why is this not scrolling down? Is it frozen? Okay, it was frozen. I need to ask Joseph Morgan where Nancy Picard was last seen. So that is what we're gonna do. But before we do that, we're gonna we're gonna try for a baby. Did he seriously break that too? Okay, first, why don't we call a repair technician? Because we broke a couple of items here. <clears throat> oh my goodness. And then we're gonna try for a baby with Allie, and all of the kiddos are doing okay. You want to go to the park, so maybe... Ooh, okay, Finley learned to talk, which is perfect. Maybe we'll go ahead and let the kiddos head off to the little <clears throat> winter festival. Since there's nothing else really going on, we'll let them do that and have them have some time to play or do whatever they want. And, you know, we'll let Ollie stay home. Wait, is she... Oh my god, is she's a vegetarian? <gasps> I totally forgot. Did I know that? I pro well, obviously I probably knew that. Um, but that sucks. Okay. <clears throat> are we going to are we going to do this woohoo or or what's going on cuz I don't have time to waste you guys. Like I really just don't. Actually, I do. I have nothing else to do tonight. <laughs> um, but actually I just need to film this and I need to film another Strangerville episode because I'm going to have two videos up tomorrow on Tuesday because I want to play some Strangerville. I am kind of addicted. I'm not going to lie. Alrighty. Come on. Let's go try for that baby before she has to go barf because seriously, I'm going to be aggravated if we get into bed and she gets up. Hurry up. Hurry up. She only has 15 minutes. You better, you better do this woohoo fast. This better be some fast woohoo. Come on. Okay. Let's listen guys. Okay. Okay. I was getting a little bit worried there. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Cause this is not okay. <coughs> oh my gosh. I am like choking and dying. Okay. He needs to get some food. So why don't we get him some leftovers? See, I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with how this is freezing like this every couple minutes. It's not as bad as it was. I will say that, but it is still very annoying. Very annoying. Okay, we need to get the walker for Finley so that we can age her up ASAP and we won't have to worry about any of that. What am I doing? All right, so let's go ahead and get her just one of these little guys. I'm going to make the color green. We're just going to do everything green because why the heck not? I kind of like it. So green and white, I guess. I guess that's what we're going for. Or just totally white. You know, it's fine. 
There we go. Um, I feel like we need to do green on that. Or maybe, or maybe it needs to be white. Let me see what it's going to look like. Hurry up and load up. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. It's, it's not a big deal. I don't know why I get myself so worked up over silly things like this. So let's go ahead and pick her up. Oh, she's going to run to the bathroom first because now she's going to barf. But I want to pick her up and have we become friends with her because I always have them like play. So maybe I'll do that. <clears throat> I'll have her play with her so they become friends because I like it when they're all friends and you know everything's all Gucci but I don't like it when my game freezes like this. So we're gonna have her play with Finley a few times then pick her up and then we're gonna see if we can um, potty train her. He's getting some cookies and hopefully the kiddos are doing okay. They're seriously playing with these dumb freaking things. Oh, it looks like our sister, or not our sister, our aunt is over there. So they're all playing with those dumb toys instead of like actually playing in, you know, doing activities over there. So that's always awesome. Love that. Alrighty, he should be done and then we can go ahead and interview whoever it is that we need to interview. He does want to snoop for clues and he also wants to conduct several stakeouts and write a stakeout report. So I don't think that we have, yeah, I don't think we have, okay, somebody's very angry. Uh, I don't think we've had a stakeout or anything like that, so, oh my gosh, I just realized I need to fix the aging because I was playing my current household, which I haven't played in like a long time. I actually haven't played The Sims 3 in a long time. Um, see, this is really going to bug me, and it, when I have Inros gone, it doesn't do this. I don't understand. Um, but I have for my current household, I have like a teen family right now kind of going on. So I had them kind of <clears throat> living longer and I did for the child too, but whatever. Uh, I know that it's like you have to like leave the aging on normal or whatever, but I really am not bothered with that too much because honestly, it doesn't matter to me. We, we still get done what we need to get done, so... All right, let's go interview this person and see what we need to do and if we need to go find this missing person or if she just freaking left. Okay, it looks like the kids, or well, at least Miles is coming home, uh, but they at least got out of the house for a minute, so <laughs> instead of spending all Saturday inside playing with their toys, they could spend all Saturday outside playing with their toy in the winter, so, you know. All right, dude, tell me what we got to do. Oh, come on. Come on, game. This is so frustrating. It's not as often, but it is still to the point where it's going to really aggravate me. Why don't you come over here and skate? Um, I feel like I'm being tugged around like a bull by, like a bull by a matador. Joseph Morgan doesn't seem to really know his true love very well at all. This means I need to ask around and see what other people know about her, considering there's nothing much he can tell me. Okay, we're going to have the kiddos that are here. Okay, he's going home. We'll just have you two skate. Okay. So, we need to question three sims. So, can we question you? Since you're just kind of chilling here. Um, hopefully, we're not going to have to be friendly or anything. Or, you know, become friends with them. Because that's kind of annoying. But, we'll see. Um, we did not get you to potty train her like I wanted to wanted you to. You put her right back in there and then she's going to go back to work. Okay, so can you please come up here and pick up Finley? Uh, Nancy Picard is one of my heart with a thousand times over. We have such a pure devoted relationship together. Well, we were devoted when she was around. Okay, so we don't have to be friendly, but apparently Nancy Picard, like, just likes to disappear on people. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> All right, pick her up, please, because... I really want you to potty train her and then put her in the walker so that she can learn that. And then you can work from home all you want because we need to go. Are you serious? Are you pillow fighting with this dude? You're really, you're pillow fighting with him? Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever you want to do, Zane, whatever you want to do. Okay, is there more Sims around here? There's a couple guys over here. There are tons of freaking butterflies and things. That's really weird. Can we please ask you and David Morgan about the sim. Why are there so many things around here? This is weird. I've never seen that many like just floating around. Should we catch them? Maybe, maybe. 
I mean, we could use the money, so maybe we will, like, catch all these things. They're probably going to disappear now that I clicked on them. Okay, we can't click on those. Uh, let me see. He said the same exact thing. Okay. Come on, game. I don't have the time to deal with you lagging and you freezing and you being a turd. It's not really lagging. It just keeps freezing. So, for some reason, I can't catch those guys, but let's see. What you got to say, my friend? Yeah, why can't we catch those little bugs? Uh, it seems everyone in town is dating Nancy Picard. This is either because the biggest love triangle... This is either the biggest love triangle in history or a lot of lies. Probably both. I think I should go through Nancy Picard's mail. It's a dirty... It's a dirty means to an end, but there's no free postage in life. <laughs> Nancy Picard and I have been together for a week. She just swooped into my life like a seagull of love. Funny how I haven't heard from her in a day or so. Ooh, girl. Who are you, Nancy? Are you, like, the hottest bitch in town? Like, what is going on? I need to know who you are and what the heck your problem is. Okay, let's catch these guys. Why not? Okay, one more. Because we can't catch the these ones for some reason, but that's okay. Whatever, so there'll be a little bit of extra money, but we need to go inspect the mail <clears throat> and probably dig through her trash and maybe we can snoop. Can we snoop here for clues? All right, let's do a, let's do a stakeout. Let's do that. Let's do a stakeout. Are the kitties? Okay, the kitties, the kiddos. You're getting a little cold, so I'll let you guys go home if you want to. Okay, what are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. Is he being mean? <laughs> I was just wondering if he's... Oh, okay. <laughs> this guy's over here having a good time. This is just what in the world. Zane, what are we going to do with you? Who's this guy? Gil McGinnis. Consort Cap is having a great time over here. It is hilarious to me. All right. Let's get this stakeout going, and then we need to go inspect her mail. See if she's got anything going on, any love letters. In my previous life, I'm pretty sure I was a ninja. Oh, I'm sure you were. I am so sure you were. Can we catch these guys now that it's dark? No, we still can't. Okay, there was definitely something suspicious. I better write a report on the computer to send to the police. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I think my dog is going to be scratching at the door because I thought I heard her outside the door. So if you guys hear something, I apologize. Okay, let's go find her house which is over here so and somebody's home is she home because that's gonna be a little bit awkward but you know we're gonna go here we're gonna go here we're gonna try to go through her mail let me see is it her that's home i'm assuming i'm assuming that she is because there are two oh wait okay let's see which one is nancy okay that's francis there's nancy in there coming out here where are you gonna go who which boyfriend are you gonna go see Oh my god, you guys, that's my dog. Oh my freaking god. Alright guys, sorry about that. My dog was scratching to get in because she wanted out and then all of a sudden she wanted right back in. So, okay. Anyways, there's Nancy Picard. She's pretty cute. She's pretty cute. Um, I don't know what all the fuss is and why she has so many boyfriends, but... Oh my girl, you do you. You do you. Oh, oh my gosh. This is gonna be awkward, but... Let's give it a, let's give it a go. Let's see if we can do this without getting caught. Uh, it's kind of weird they came outside, but then they went right back inside. I thought they were leaving, but apparently that is not the case. Not the case at all. Let's check up on Finley because I want her to learn to walk. And here we go again with the freezing of the game. Oh, how I love this. I love this. Oh, man. Okay. She's just staring at the wall. So let's go ahead and learn to walk a bunch of times. Then all we'll need to worry about is her. Okay, can you come home, please? Uh, all we'll have to worry about is her learning to or to be potty trained. Uh, why is it that one mailbox contains a handful of mail, each piece addressed to a different lover, and each with a different name on the return? It doesn't look like 15 young ladies live in this house. Perhaps my contact, my contact at the local intelligence agency agency can help distill this nonsense into one name so we have to phone the intelligence agency so let's go ahead and do that while we're standing here so let's go ahead and call them and then we're gonna sell these guys oh, where is he going to call oh over here i was like where is he going so let's go ahead and sell these guys and this one for a little bit of money and then we have some emeralds that we need to send off as well 
which I'm not too worried about because obviously it's not worth a whole, whole lot of money, but it's okay. Oh my gosh. Can we not do this? Can we not? He seems like he's very confident about whatever he's, whatever he's telling them. He seems pretty confident. Look, look at that face. What are you doing? All right. I was assured my case was priority one. However, my call was priority nine. The whole music was actually was catchy if, oh my God, gratuitous. Okay. The infant was a top secret. My ears only. I decided to go to the extra mile and keep my non-phone ear out of, okay, whatever. <laughs> He's doing exactly what everyone does when they're on the phone. They just walk around aimlessly. So, okay. I was going to say, did we do anything? It turns out my contact in the intelligence agency agency has run all across the names before. Each one is an alias of a well-known con artist, a local mu musician. I'm going to catch the con artist backstage at the theater. So that looks like we're going to have to go catch that con artist. Okay. Here we go, my friend. Well, we will be going, you know, when the game kind of decides that it's ready to work with me and not stress me out. Okay, there we go. Okay. Hopefully we can catch whoever this person is. Let's go back over here. What's going on? You want to listen to him? You need to kind of... Okay, she learned to walk, which is perfect. We need to get you to go to the bathroom. Miles, what are you doing? Talk about the cold. Okay, that's totally fine. Whatever. Um, but we need to get you kids, like, ready for bed. Somebody dropped some trash and just kind of left it. That's always lovely. I don't know which bed is yours, but we're going to have you go ahead and do an evil slumber. Okay, and you go to sleep. You go to sleep. Everybody goes to freaking sleep. Allie is getting sick because she is preggers, but she's going to go ahead and use the bathroom, which is totally fine. And then we're going to go ahead and let her head to bed as well. Um, actually, we need to see what Finley is doing. Come over here because we probably should uh, pick her up. Oh, come on. Come on, game. I can't deal with this. This is really, really, really annoying. I don't know why this started. I truly don't. Okay. Come here and pick her up. Um, the culprit has been a con artist since conning became an art. Really about the same amount of time she's been a failing musician. Her current hoax is to get everyone in town to fall in love with uh -oh, with a fake name then call them out of gifts and money while well, i convinced her to cease desist and focus on her day job unfortunately now i need to call it joseph morgan and joseph Mo tell joseph morgan about the truth of his love okay so let's go ahead and report the findings okay one more time we're gonna potty train finley and then we need to feed her on the floor and then we can put her put her to bed because i think she's tired now she's not really super tired but go ahead and report your findings before you come home because i'm gonna probably have him work a little bit all right case closed for a split second come home for a split second i watched joseph morgan's heartbeat so strongly i thought the planet was turning it was touching but really it is all for the best he he has reallocated funds he was going to spend on a romantic vacation to pay me my fee so that's good at least we got that solved but we need to have him come home and fill out his report or write his report I should say okay we're gonna let you go to sleep and we'll let Zane come home and kind of take care of this since Allie has been here all day long kind of taking care of business um oh she's about to vomit I was like why did she just get up what in the freaking heck so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wrap up this part right here I'm gonna have Zane kind of write his little report and take care of look at him rolling his eyes and have him take care of Finley and then get himself head heading to bed so anyways I will see you guys very very soon soon no very very soon go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you would like check out my sims 4 video for strangerville because i do have a giveaway going on i love you guys so very much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>